So this is the first snowfall of the year here in Virginia. And snow for me just gives me so much peace of mind. It just, I love it. Totally gets rid of all anxiety and worry. And fun fact about snow, it's soundproof. I love that. So what if I told you all that worry, something that I deal with, something that everyone deals with, and how much you worry and how often you worry completely depends on your concept of time. Would you believe me or would you think I am just insane and crazy? Well, let's find out. So if you've ever studied time or Einstein and his theory of relativity, then you know that time is absolutely relative. Time is just our perception of things. I mean, Einstein even said in a letter that he wrote to one of his friends, time is an illusion. Then when you study the science of time, you see that Einstein was absolutely right. I mean, of course, he's Einstein, you know? And I've studied a lot of other scientists who have tried to figure out why we have this specific direction of time that's just our perception, because the science says that there's no difference between the future and the past. Time just is. And a philosopher, Alan Watts, he talks about how we go through life and we have this, we are, we're always thinking about the future, we're always thinking about the past, and we look at this like there's always a goal in mind, there's always something that we're trying to get to. Then once we get to that thing, we realize, wait, is this, this is it? And so we're, we're always trying to get ahead, but he says to look at life more like a piece of music. Because in music, you don't, like, the best piece of music in the world, the best song in the world, isn't the end of the song. Because if that were the case, then the best songs in the world would be the fastest songs in the world, but that's not the case. So if we look at life as a song, then we're constantly enjoying every single moment of it. I mean, it's only the, you know, the best songs in the world, your favorite songs are only their favorite songs because of the whole thing, because of the beginning, the middle, the end, all the, the chord progression, every single part of it. And so if we look at life like it's goal oriented and we're always trying to get somewhere, we're always trying to do this thing, you know, just always trying to get somewhere and then we think back at the past and we're like okay we did this wrong and we could have been at that place in the future if we hadn't have done that in the past and that's where worry comes from that's absolutely where worry comes from when you think about it if you focus on right now if you look at life as a song and not as this goal-oriented thing and you go day by day then worry goes away it really, really does. And some of you might be like, okay, that's crazy. No, that's not the case. But yes, that is the case. Being in the now, you know, no matter what your situation is, it, it t completely rids yourself of worry. So when we look at time scientifically for what it actually is, and we look at even philosophically, we see that being in the now is the only option for ridding ourselves of worry. Because what we do, and here's what we do, here's why we worry. We think about tomorrow. We think about okay, I have to do this tomorrow, I have to get that done, and if I don't get that done, then this, this, then this, and this, and this, and then it just keeps going and going and going. And then we also have regret because of the past. And we say, oh, if I, did, if I didn't do that, or if I did do that, then tomorrow would be different, or today would be different. But the, the memory's set in stone. There's, there's nothing that can be changed about it. And so if we give ourselves grace for the past, and we trust ourselves that we will be able to handle what comes our way in the future. If we give ourselves enough grace and we trust ourselves enough, then we will be able to live in this moment right now and the worry will disappear. I promise you the worry will disappear. And for me, you know, being out in the snow, some people hate the snow. Some people dread the snow. I absolutely love the snow. It gives me a peace of mind. It gives me just the rain and I guess bad weather, <laughs> just in general. It really, for me, it's just like, I just can see the moment so much more when something else is happening around me and when there's just silence. And so I really, really enjoy that. And that's what, for me, I've learned, like when I'm in this constant state of worry, like even filming this was difficult for me because I'm just like, you know, what if, what if nobody watches this? What if this amounts to absolutely nothing? Is there even a point to doing this? And I'm just like, wait a minute, today is my day. 
today is the day? Am I taking today captive? Am I taking today this day? And I'm saying, I have lived today. And just not thinking about tomorrow, not thinking about yesterday and you know the things that I could have done or the things that will take me to someplace else but asking myself did I do enough today and have I really taken this moment because I think a lot of people just forget I think a lot of people are just like you know right now is irrelevant because I'm so worried about tomorrow but that's tomorrow like what about today what about today and so the science points there the philosophy points there but being in the now is so key, so crucial to just ridding yourselves of worry, no matter what's going on in your life. I know situations can be so bad, can be just terrible, or they can't even, it's just, you just find yourself worrying about everything. But if you take a deep breath and just embrace right now and give yourself grace for the mistakes that you made in the past and just, oh boy, that's bad. Okay. No, oh, hold on. Let me wipe this off. There we go. That's a lot better. And you trust yourself for your future. Wow. I'm like, yeah, I'm in a tree right now. This is the only place. It was, it's warmer in the, <laughs> it's, it's warmer in the tree. You know, it's barely a tree anymore because of fall. It somewhat covers me from the wind, but I can't really feel my pinky right now. So I'll probably end this vlog soon. <laughs> so give yourself grace for your past and the mistakes and the things that you could have done and trust yourself that whatever, just even based on your past and when you've done it before, that I can get past whatever comes my way and embrace right now where you're at, even sitting on your computer or watching this on your phone or whatever you're doing, put down your phone, stop watching this video and completely embrace right now where you're at and I guarantee you your worry will just fade away. So what I wanted to share with you all to hopefully just give you another perspective is a song I wrote. So I really hope you enjoy this and I enjoyed writing it for you all. It's called Trust Yourself and I think that that's the most important thing because the past is the past and we, we can regret it and we'll regret it for a day and we'll try to change things about it, but it's set in stone. So I think the problem and most people worry because of the future, which has to do with just trusting yourself that everything's going to be okay and you're going to figure it out. So I wrote this song for you guys and um, so I hope you enjoy it and uh, here you go. future hasn't happened yet but the mind always turns to regret don't stress about the future's mess the memories are set and we can only do our best but you just have to trust that feeling in your chest Okay, you just 
just have to trust that feeling in your chest The you're enough right now And you always were But you just couldn't see how And you're enough right now And you've always been enough But you just have to learn to trust Oh, you're enough right now And you always were But you just couldn't see Serve to learn to trust yourself. So I hope you enjoy it, and if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you misfits later. You just have to learn to trust yourself